Hello and welcome to STEM with Mr N, where every week I perform different demonstrations and explain the science behind what we're seeing. With Christmas fast approaching, this week I decided to make some colourful Christmas patterns and some plastic ornaments, all using Santa's favourite drink as I explore magic milk. Let's check it out. The first demonstration I'm going to do this week is the colourful Christmas patterns. For this, you will require some full fat milk, a dish, some food colouring in different colours, Christmas shaped cookie cutters, some washing up liquid and some cotton swabs. The first thing you're going to do is pour the milk onto your dish just so the whole bottom of the dish is covered in the milk. Once that's done, I'm going to place my Christmas cookie cutters into the dish. Then I'm going to add a couple of drops of food colouring inside each cookie cutter. In my Christmas tree one, I'm going to put a couple of drops of green food colouring and in my snowflake, I'm going to put a couple of drops of blue food colouring. Around the outside of the cookie cutters, I'm going to add some orange food colouring and some red food colouring, just to make it nice and vibrant and looking Christmassy. Now that I've done that, I'm going to dip a cotton bud into my washing up liquid and just touch it to the milk and watch what happens. At first, all you'll notice is that the food colouring is getting pushed away from where you've dipped in your cotton bud with your washing up liquid on it. But then the longer you leave it held in position, you start to get all these swirling colour patterns that come out from the cotton bud. So what is it that's actually happening? Well, when you dip the washing up liquid into the milk, some of the washing up liquid dissolves in the liquid part of the milk. But the rest of it seeks out the fat in the milk to attach itself onto it. As it is spreading out through the milk to find the fat, you can see it carrying the food colouring with it, and that's what creates these swirling patterns coming out from where the washing up liquid is. It's all these molecules of washing up liquid seeking out the fat in the milk. This is similar to a surface tension experiment that you can do using washing up liquid and cotton buds, water and paper, which I've done in a previous video. And I've put a link in the description to that surface tension video. Once you've left your cotton bud standing in the milk for a while, you'll get this nice swirling pattern around your Christmas cookie cutters. Inside the cookie cutters on mine, all the food colouring has been pushed out and underneath the cookie cutter to come out and mix with the rest of the food colouring. So I've got a clearer inside to my shapes, but a more colourful outside with these nice swirling patterns round about. For the other demonstration this week, I'm going to be making plastic Christmas ornaments out of milk. To do this, you will require some full fat milk, a microwavable dish, some form of measuring cup and measuring spoons, some vinegar, a sieve and some Christmas cookie cutters. The first step is to pour one cup of milk, about 250 mils, into your microwavable dish and put this in the microwave for 90 seconds to warm up the milk. Carefully take the milk back out and add four tablespoons of vinegar to your milk. Stir your milk and vinegar mixture around and you'll start to notice that the milk goes a yellowy colour and there are lumps floating about in the milk. What is happening is the acid in the vinegar is breaking down the milk and the lumps that you can see is casein, which is a protein which is contained within milk. Once you've stirred your milk and vinegar for about 60 seconds, pour the mixture through a sieve to separate out the liquid and the solid part of your milk. Use a paper towel to press down on the solid part to squeeze out any more liquid that you can from it. This is you now left with a solid casein protein from inside the milk. Take out this solid and squash it into your cookie cutters, pressing it down nice and firm so that it fills the shape of your cookie cutter. This solid feels a bit like tofu or scrambled egg, but it's not unpleasant to touch. 
Once you've pressed it evenly into your cookie cutter, we're going to set the cookie cutter aside for 48 hours. So I'll check on this in a couple of days and see what it's like. Now that I've left my plastic ornaments for 48 hours so they can harden, let's check in and see how they're doing. You'll notice that my snowman has shrunk away from the sides as it has hardened and that's going to make it very easy to remove. My reindeer looks like it might have cracked a bit and it's still stuck in quite hard so I'm not going to force it out just to make sure that it doesn't break when I'm trying to get it out. But let's check on my snowman. One side of it has gone a dark yellow colour and it is quite bumpy but if I flip it over it's still looking white and it is a lot smoother than the other side. On this side you can then add some colour to decorate your ornament. I'm going to give my snowman a hat, some eyes, a nose, a mouth and a wee scarf. Then if you've got some ribbon or string lying about the house, you can tie this through the hole we made in the top of the ornament so you can then hang up your ornament on your Christmas tree or wherever you want around your house. My snowman was still a wee bit damp when I tried to decorate him so it has been harder to get the pen onto the decoration. So you could leave yours for longer than 48 hours to make sure that it is completely dry or you could try decorating it with something different like paint. Well, that's all for this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. As always, I would like to take this opportunity to answer any science questions you have about any science topics at all. So feel free to email me at stemwithmrn at outlook.com and I'll get back to you with answers to your questions. You can subscribe to the channel by pushing the button here and I've added links here to the other STEM demonstrations I've done so far. This has been STEM with Mr N, exploring magic milk.